application that uh, we've been working on here at uh, ICS. Normally we're working on this for about two weeks and it is written entirely in QML with the C++ backend. So we make these objects such as a uh, car sensor model and we're exporting these things to QML. Now this dashboard is actually hooked up to this fuel injection computer. Uh, this is an open source fuel injection system called Megasquirt. And you'll notice that as I change things on the engine simulator, you can see the values change in the user interface. And the gauges move smoothly, they bounce a little at the end. And um, all of this is, um, was really easy to do because of QML. This user interface was actually designed by one of our artists in Photoshop. And he used a script from labs.trolltech.com to export the uh, Photoshop layers into QML. So this dashboard is actually, the background's all one layer, and the needles are all separate layers. I can then bind the rotation of the needles to mathematical formulas involving, say, the sensor values. Now, states and transitions are built into the language. So we can switch screens by sliding, and we can get all of the values from the ECU here in this nice little flick list. Now this is a standard list that's been decorated with some art, uh, so that you can make your own model and export it to QML and get these fancy lists. Now between uh, Dev Day San Francisco and now, I've taken the dashboard and added other applications. The only one uh, that does anything right now is the radio application. And you'll notice there that we have uh, some QML transitions to switch applications. As we switch apps, you can actually see that they zoom out, they move, and they zoom back in. Uh, we can even do something like play the radio. And if I had the antenna working, we might be able to tune in a radio station and hear some music. Uh, so that's basically um, what at ICS we can do with QML given two weeks.